platys are some of my favorite beginner fish, especially for those fish keepers looking to set up their first aquarium. However, if you are setting up this aquarium, you will more than likely want to keep more than just the platys in your aquarium. So let's go ahead and explore some of the best platy tank mates. Before we head to the fish store, let's talk about what makes a good tank mate for your platy. You will want to choose a fish that can handle the same water parameters from a pH, hardness, and temperature perspective. You also want to eliminate any larger fish that might eat your platy, as well as more aggressive fish that might attack its finnage or attack the fish itself. Researching your potential tank mates before going to the fish store will ensure you choose the proper fish. Plecos are some of my favorite bottom dwelling species to put with platys. I would highly recommend the bristlenose pleco. These fish spend their time scourging around the bottom looking for tiny morsels of food. These fish mainly keep to the bottom of the aquarium and do not directly compete in the same area of water that your platy would. But be sure to research which pleco species you're looking at because some species can get quite large. For example, the common pleco that you find in most of your big box stores can reach almost a foot long. So knowing which pleco you're looking for is definitely a must. Speaking of bottom dwellers, Corydoras are also one of my favorites. You'll find these schooling fish foraging around the bottom of your tank looking for food, much like the plecos we spoke of just a moment ago. These fish are not aggressive and can handle the same temperature and pH ranges as your platy. These are schooling fish, so you'll definitely want to make sure to keep them in groups of six or more and to avoid damaging the barbells you also want to make sure that you avoid substrate with jagged edges. Speaking about foraging fish, let's talk about cherry shrimp. While not a fish, cherry shrimp will definitely make a great addition to your new platy aquarium. The platys may pick off some of the younger baby shrimp, but if you provide them with a large pile of rocks, the cherry shrimp will have a place to hide and would outproduce any of the shrimp that would be predated on by the platys. Even though it's not very colorful, the Amano shrimp is definitely another great addition. These larger shrimp are great little algae eaters and definitely add some interest to the bottom of your aquarium. So let's talk about putting together a live bear community tank. Endlers, guppies, and mollies are some of my favorites since they're peaceful, like the same water parameters, and will not interbreed with your platys. I would like to provide them with a planted tank with plenty of hiding spaces, especially if you're looking to produce fry from both sets of fish. Swordtails and platys are both of the same genus Siphophorus, and they will interbreed with one another and possibly create unwanted hybrids. But with whatever live bear you choose, it's definitely a fun tank. Since variatus platys can do well in lower temperatures, Gadeads are another great live bear tank mate that you could consider. I have been currently keeping this breeding group of Antinobius Towerai along with a group of Variatus platys, and things have been going quite well. I do provide them plenty of plant cover so that the fry of both fish have a place to hide. You will need to keep in mind that almost all of the Gadead species are endangered in the wild, so you will need to take care not to mix the Gadead species as well as try to produce some of the fry of the Gadeads you choose for future generations. There's also a wide variety of schooling fish that will do great with your new platy. The vast array of small tetras are a great choice. Some of my favorites are the Cardinal, Neon, Ember, and there are many more. One thing to keep in mind is that some tetra species are fin nippers, so definitely research the fish you're looking at to make sure it's compatible. If tetras aren't your thing though, there are plenty of other schooling fish like Rasboras, Danios, and many more. Since we've spoke about bottom dwellers, there's also some top dwellers to look at as well. I have a couple favorites when it comes to top dwelling fish, the rainbow fish and the hatchet fish. For rainbow fish, I really like the pseudomagill species since they stay quite small, like the same water parameters, and will not predate on the fry. There are plenty of colorful pseudomagill species that are a great complement to your new platy. You can also do some smaller melanotania species like the dwarf neon rainbow with its cool looking iridescent sheen, as well as these melanotania 
Wallace Road, which is a rarer species, but does stay quite small. If you aren't into rainbow fish, then you might like hatchet fish. They are peaceful and have a unique body shape, which will add interest to any platy aquarium. Just keep in mind with both of these species, you will need to keep a lid since both of them are known to jump out of the aquarium.